I was taken to hell twice in the spirit. I was spending time with Jesus, and he took me to hell. And when I was in hell, I encountered a jail cell. There were hundreds of thousands of jails. Each cell contained people, and they were crying, and they were weeping, and they were gnashing. And in my jail cell, I could feel God's presence, but I could feel the eternal separation of love. It's not about the torment and the pain, even though that's there. It's not about the suffering, even though that's there. It's about the eternal separation from the love of Jesus. We were created to love. We were created to know love. And when we go to hell, we have no more comprehension of what love is. We have no more comprehension of that warmth, of that desire to love and to be loved. And that is the deepest darkness of hell. It is not so much what I experienced, although that was dark. But what I experienced was the separation of love. So in my encounter, I started to experience this darkness of the love and the separation of love. I was like, Lord, where are you? But I could feel him. But at the same time, I could feel the hearts of people. Every single person that was there, I could feel their brokenness. I could feel their loneliness. I could feel their depression. Anybody who's ever been in depression has felt a little bit of what I felt. But that day when I was in hell, I felt the depths of loneliness, the depths of depression. It was the darkest feeling in the world. It was the darkest feeling you could imagine. You can't even imagine the feeling. It was so dark. In the jail cell, there was these bugs, and they were crawling all over me, and they were eating at me. The jail cell was cold and lonely and dark, and the bugs were just gnawing at me. The place smelled like sulfur and dark, dark smells that I've never even smelled before, but they're the most disgusting smells in the world. The emptiness is what was so horrible. And I felt Jesus' heart for the people, and I couldn't take it anymore. Even though I had only seen a little bit, I couldn't take it anymore. When I came back, I spent three days of intercession, and I felt the heart of Jesus for the lost. I felt the heart of Jesus for the lost. He had called me as an evangelist when I was a little girl. But when I encountered this encounter in hell, I experienced the depth of his love for the lost. I experienced the love that I've never felt before. For three days, I was on my floor in intercession. I was feeling his presence, and I could feel his crying. I could feel this brokenness in his heart, and the Lord said to me, that his heart breaks every time a soul denies him and goes to hell. Every time a soul dies that does not know him and goes to hell, his heart breaks for that person. It was the most intense three days of my life, just the intercession and the weeping and the, the mourning for the lost souls that I was feeling that could still be saved. He loves them so much. He loves you so much. If you're not saved, he loves you, and he wants you to know him. He wants you to encounter the depths of his love. A month later, he took me to hell again, and I was closer to the lake of fire. This was a different portion of hell that I was in. On either side that I could see, there were cavern walls. The cavern walls were burning. There was fire. Men and women were pressed against the walls of hell and were burning, but were not consumed. I saw a man, and I instantly knew he was an atheist. He'd been an atheist in this life, and he was burning. He was being burning, but he was not consumed. His, his skin was burning. His skin was gone and his, his muscles and every tendon in his body was just fraying and it kept fraying and fraying and he kept on burning but he would not be consumed because he was already dead. I walked deeper and towards the lake of fire and I saw Satan and I saw demons and the demons were torturing humans. The demons were torturing every soul that, that was there. Everything that they had done in the life they were being tortured with in hell. The demons were attacking them more torturing them and Satan was attacking them and torturing them and I saw Satan and he laughed he laughed and he's like these are mine and he mocked every single person that had rejected Jesus and had died and went to hell when I was down there and I was in the, the lake of fire was right next to me and I could see it and I was bawling my eyes out at this point and I said Lord what do I do I'm in the middle of hell and I have such a brokenness I feel the heartbeat of you for these people and the Lord said to me he's like pray pray fervently and I started to pray and when I prayed I could feel an anointing I could feel a strength I could feel a covering of his presence I got sucked out of there and I came back to the earth and the Lord showed me he said every time you were praying in the pit of hell I still heard it and I saw the prayers and it's the prayers for the sake of the people who are lost but they still have a chance to get saved guys I just want to encourage you whoever's listening to this today whether you're a Christian or not if you're a Christian, Jesus loves you, but he wants you to know that he loves you more than you've ever experienced. He wants you to experience his love, to know his love, to read the word and fully comprehend the experiencing and the depths of his love. And if you're not a Christian, Jesus loves you so much. He does not want you in hell. Anybody who's not a Christian and you've heard that God wants you to go to hell, God hates you, it is a lie. His heart breaks for you. 
If you choose hell, that's your choice. It's not his. His choice for you is to be with him in all eternity. He loves you. He did not create hell for you. He created it for the demons and for Satan. And eventually Satan and demons will not be torturing the lost because they will be chained up. They will be locked up. But right now in hell, the demons are torturing the humans. And guys, this is just a little bit of the depths, but the depths that I saw in hell, it was not so much the experience, it was the feelings. It was the feelings of the separation of love because we were created for love. So if you're not saved and you've never met Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I encourage you right now to just say a simple prayer. Jesus, would you come? Would you come and just um, free me from my sins and let me know that you love me? Lord, would you let me know who you are, Lord Jesus? Would you let me know that I am yours and you are mine, God? I ask you to forgive me for my sins. I ask you to cover me with your blood. I thank you for your sacrifice. I believe in you, Lord God, and I just ask you right now that you would come and you'd live in me in Jesus' name. If you just prayed that, he wants to encounter you, and he wants to take you deep in his heart. So I just encourage everybody who's listening to this, know that hell is real. It's a lot more real than this earth is. The spirit realm, heaven and hell, and the spirit realm are so much more real than this earth. So I just encourage you people who are listening to this to know the depths of his love for you. He does not want you to go to hell. So please listen to his love for you today.